Salve Maria and welcome back. I am Brother Jose and in this show we are going to look at how you can take advantage of this video and what you can do to make this experience better. I promise you this won't take longer than five minutes so just watch this until the end. You are going to like it. So in this show, we're going to talk about four things, four things. And I have these four things written down here also. Just four things. One, we're going to see how long this show is going to be. This show, more or less, is going to be really kind of a short show. It's not a short, it's a short show. My idea at first was two or three minutes, but now it became five minutes because there's lots of things to talk about when it comes to virtues. The reason is, is that you can be able to watch this video whenever you can. It's something sure you can actually stop, digest, and meditate. And that's actually the next thing I want to talk about, the second part, what you can do during the week. Now, these videos here, they're going to be once a week. And the idea is that when we talk about a virtue or a vice, you can, during that week, focus on that virtue or on that vice or that specific or a specific part on that particular virtue or on that particular vice. So instead of having the whole explanation of virtue and how you can practice the virtue in different moments, different circumstances, we're going to go step by step, so each week you can improve a specific part. You can also improve certain parts if you like. That will completely depend on you, your choice. I'm going to give it in piecemeal. The third thing I want to tell you is the, 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 language, the language I'm going to be using in this show. I'm going to be simplifying a lot. I could say, the subjects of the virtues of temperance and fortitude are the irascible and concussible powers of the human person. But that doesn't really mean much to you. I mean, it's better for me to go, the virtues of fortitude and temperance help our passions. Doesn't that make sense? The idea is to make virtues and vices understandable to most people. So I will not be using many of the precise language that St. Thomas Aquinas and most moral theologians use. And finally, the fourth point I wanted to talk with you was actually a question. What do you want to talk about next? Now I have two more shows after this. Is what the next one is the golden rule of virtues and the different quality, uh, another quality of virtues, which is the connection of all the virtues together. And then afterwards, we're going to probably have one, maybe two, but I think it's going to be one, one show on what is a vice. But after that, we can either go into the cardinal virtues, justice, temperance, fortitude, and prudence, or we can go into the capital vices which are seven. That's going to be a long but very interesting one. Just to give you an example of what you can expect from each one, um, the capital vices, I'm going to take the, an ex the example of gluttony. Uh, the reason I picked gluttony for an example is actually gluttony was one of the vices, was the vice that kind of in, that, that encouraged me to do the show. Um, gluttony, m most people uh, think, actually most people think they know what the different virtues and vices are, um, but it's far more rich. In the case of gluttony, most people think it's eating too much. Actually, gluttony is a vice uh, where there is a disorder in our eating habits. So if I can remember, it is it can either be eating too much, too little, too dainty, too expensively, and there's one more I forgot, but it's far more than most people think, that's for sure. And then from the cardinal virtues, I'm going to take the virtue that also encouraged me to do, to do this show, which is justice. Justice is the virtue where we give to each person what is his due. In other words, we give to each person what do they deserve. Not only good things, but also bad things. Actually, there are three types of justice. There is, let me just grab my notes here. There are, there is Commutative justice. Commutative justice is the justice um, in relation from one person to another. In other words, what do, let's say one person, what you, if you want, owe to another person, another individual. Then there is general or legal justice, which is what an individual owes to society. So what do you owe to society? And then there is distributive justice, which is what society owes to an, an individual. So what society, you're part of society also, right? What society owes to an individual, so that could also be you. 
So those are the three types of justices. Of course, we're going to look more into that once we get into that. So there you go. You have your options there. What do you want to talk about next? Please write down in the descriptions, capital vices or cardinal virtues. Whatever you pick, we're going to choose. Once again, we have two more shows to talk about afterwards. And while you're at it, like, subscribe, share, and take advantage and look at all the other great shows we have in this channel here. Thank you very much and have a good week. Salve Maria.